Hey everyone, in this lesson, we'll now build the class diagram for the parking lot based on the use case diagram discussed before. Let's assume parking lot has a name. Second, it had many entrance panels, right? So entrance panel can be a separate entity altogether. Let's store it in the form of list. Of course, all of the data members that it has is private. So I'm skipping uh, writing the word private. So list of entrance panel. Of course, we'll have to make entrance panel entrances. Same way, uh, it has many exits also. So list of exit panel exits. Next, what? It also has a display board, global display board. And display board has a different responsibility of showing free parking spots, right? So it's better that we make display board as a separate entity. Uh, it has a list of parking spots, right? Parking spot. Again, there are different qualities that a parking spot has. It's if it's free or not, which floor is it on? So it's better we make parking spot also a separate entity. So list of parking spot, parking spots. Great. So we are done with parking lot. Let's move ahead. So we have four things to make here. First of all, entrance panel, exit panel, display board and parking spot. So let's just build them. Entrance panel. So not much information has been given about entrance panel here. So let's just give it name. Okay. Uh, at this point, you can have a conversation with your interviewer. Uh, what do you want to have an entrance panel as well as an exit panel? Because I can see in the question that not much information has been given about exit panel also. So let's give it name, string name. This should be entrance panel. Same goes for exit panel. Same again, let's give it name or maybe a unique ID basically. Now, what should be the relation between parking lot and entrance panel? What should be the relation? Okay, let's think. Can an entrance panel exist without a parking lot? No. Parking lot has entrance panels, right? So parking lot is composed of entrance panel? Yes. And a entrance panel has no existence if parking lot is not there. So there's a composition relationship between a parking lot and an entrance panel. Okay. If entrance panel would have existed without parking lot being there, then there would have been a aggregation relationship. But right now there's a composition relation. So parking lot is composed of entrance panel as well as exit panel. Okay. Let's move ahead. Let's go for parking spot. Parking spot. There are different types of parking spots that are given in the question, which are compact, mini and large. So now what we can think of is can compact, mini and large be enums or we should make parking spot as an abstract class and then make compact, large and mini as separate classes. Now this could be a very good discussion. So let's have a discussion around it. Let's forget uh, about class diagram right now. So there are two ways now. First, let's go for enumerations. Second, abstract class. If we go for enums, there would be compact, mini, large. This would be the scene. Okay. And if we go for abstract class, then it would look like this. Parking spot. Of course, there would be properties inside it. But let's just forgive properties for now. And we would have compact as a class. Same goes for mini and same goes for large. It would look like this. Somewhere it would look like this. Okay. So let's consider enums and abstract class now. What should be the difference? It is generally advisable to go for abstract class. Why? Because enums can violate open close principle. How? So suppose you're doing something conditional on the basis of enum. So you would have put an if block over there that if my parking spot dot, uh, let's say type is compact, then do this. Else if parking spot type is mini, then do that. Else if then do that. Going forward, any new type of parking spot comes in. For example, electric. Let's say there's a new type of parking spot. So you would have to change this if else loop, right? You'll have to you'll have to add one more thing. Does this violate open close principle? Yes, it does. Ideally, what open close principle says is it should be open for extension and close for modification. But you have to modify it, right? Which is really, really bad, right? It's a bad piece of code. On the other hand, if we see for abstraction, what do you have to do if some new piece or uh, some new parking spot comes in? You just have to extend parking spot and uh, there's a new class over there for the new parking spot which you want to have. And every different class will have their own implementation, right? If there is any sort of implementation, for example, let's say uh, cost, okay? So if my parking spot uh, dot enum 
is compact then return 20 else if it's mini return 10 else if it's large return 30 going forward one more electric came so you added one more else if if it's electric return 40 okay violated open close principle on the other hand if it has a function cost in it everyone compact mini and large will have to um, implement it in their own way right it would return 20 10 30 same way as let's say electric wants to return 40 right so here we are following the principle of single responsibility also wherein everything related to electric parking spot or the new parking spot that comes in or previously also whichever parking spots were there it was there in their own classes secondly it didn't violate open post principle also so it's always beneficial to go for abstract classes and not for enums okay i hope you would have got the difference